Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be seeing what are prime subfields. So, what are prime subfields? Right. So, uh, recall that in the previous video, what we did was, we saw what is the characteristic of a field. We saw that the characteristic of any field could either be 0 or it is some prime number P. Right. So, if the case is, that the characteristic is equal to p where p is some prime number then all the elements can be written as the sum of ones to form zp inside the field that is it form a subfield what does this, this means this means that it forms a subfield uh, which is similar to or isomorphic to this field zp the field of ad addition and multiplication modulo p and uh, in that case we have the characteristic p what does that mean? It means that whenever you take p uh, ones, that means you take the multiplicative identities and you add them p times, then you'll get the additive identity, right? So this was uh, what we done in the previous video. For example, if you have this field z3, then the only elements are 0 bar, 1 bar and 2 bar. That means when you take any integer, when you divide that by 3, whatever is the remainder comes under these three classes only. So here in this case, the characteristic is 3. So uh, you add up 1, 3 times, you will get 3. When you uh, divide this 3 by 3, you will get the remainder as 0. So the characteristic is 3 in this case. Moreover, this ZP would be the smallest subfield in the field that can contain that it can contain right it would be the smallest subfield so this thing has to be noted that uh, such field is the smallest subfield moreover if the characteristic of the field is zero in that case the elements would contain a copy of natural numbers inside the field if the characteristic is field uh, of this field is zero that means if you take the multiplicative identity and you add it uh, to itself then you will get different elements like you add one three times then you will get three and if you add one five times you will be getting five and so on right so uh, with this multiplicative identity you will get the uh, you will get every element of this set uh, which is the set of natural numbers inside the field so it uh, it would mimic a copy of natural numbers inside this the set of elements together with the additive and multiplicative inverses, they create a copy of rational numbers inside the field. So in this case, we must say that the smallest subfield which is contained in the field is the field of rational numbers, right? So uh, let us see what is what are prime subfields. Let us look at its definition. The smallest subfield of a field is the prime subfield and it is either the field of addition mod and multiplication model of P over the integers, over the set of integers, or it is the set of rational numbers, right? So what does this prime subfield mean? It means that you have some field F. So whatever is the smallest subfield, that would be called as the prime subfield. It is as simple as that. Moreover, this prime subfield is generated by the multiplicative identity IF of the field. Whatever is the multiplicative identity, you can generate the whole subfield through this. Right? So uh, that means every element of uh, this field can be obtained by adding once a finite number of times. Right? So we have one more definition for this prime subfield. We can understand this using uh, this concept also. If we are uh, having some field F and we know uh, that the intersection of several subfields is again a subfield. So the intersection of all the subfields is a subfield in, uh, which is unique and minimal. So whatever is the intersection of different subfields that is unique and it is the minimum of all those. That is also true. So this unique minimal subfield of this field F is called the prime subfield of F. So this is as simple as that. So uh, that means if you have any field F, if you take a different uh, subfield, say F1, F2 or F3, then you take their intersection. 
So this intersection would be unique and moreover it would be a subfield and uh, the least subfield, the subfield with two elements would only contain the multiplicative and identitive, uh, multiplicative and additive identities, right? So this would be the smallest uh, in certain case containing two elements. So let us look at one example. Uh, we have a field F. It has 16 elements, say, right? So its subfields have two elements. It could have two elements. It could have four elements. It could have 16 elements. How do we uh, calculate that uh, its subfields, they contain only two elements, four elements or 16 elements that we shall see in the upcoming videos. Uh, as for now, what would be the prime subfield of this field F? It would be the smallest subfield. So in this case, the subfield would be uh, the one with two elements in it. That, that would be called the prime subfield. That is it for this video. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.